Hey everybody, Scott with 36 Bricks here and we are off to Vegas. With my mommy. See <laughs> some you smart ass. <laughs> That are ahead of us. <laughs> and here's my son driving driving my car. On the road again. Alright everybody, so here we are on our way to Viva Los Vegas. We are on an adventure for my mom's birthday to have fun and really just hang out. I mean, that's really what this day trip is all about. We left very early in the morning, eight o'clock, so that we were there by 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And uh, it was a gorgeous drive all the way through uh, California and into Nevada. So uh, I am in Southern California, so we drove from Southern California all the way to Vegas which is about a three to four hour drive, depending on your foot. We had a lot of fun, hope you guys enjoy. We're now crossing into Nevada. Say goodbye to all your friends in California, Scott. What friends? <laughs> <laughs>
Bree, Scott with 36 Bricks here, and we are in Las Vegas at the Fashion Show of Vomal, and we're gonna do some Lego shopping. Let's rock. All right, guys, so we weren't allowed to film in front of the mall itself, uh, but we were allowed to do a lot of video inside, and this store is absolutely amazing. It housed a lot of pick-a-brick parts, uh, I think the count was over a hundred different parts on the pick a brick wall. Super excited. I got tons and tons of parts. And it was just a lot of fun. The staff here was just amazing. Erica did an amazing job just hanging out with me, uh, filling the pad cups, and uh, enjoying great conversations. Me and my mom had a blast. Here's my son at the Lego wall. He's getting ready to place an order for all his all the Legos he wants. And then here they have a big Lego soldier from the Star Wars collection. Star Trooper. Star Trooper. And I'm just going around the store. All right, so here's just a little glimpse of a lot of the sets they have. Many of these we've seen time and time again at all of the different LEGO stores, but I really wanted to showcase how nice and organized and neat everything was. Everything was very well stocked. I was rather surprised because we are talking about Las Vegas in that uh, I expected the shelves not to be as full, but they did a really, really good job making sure everything was well stocked all the way forward to the front uh, for their customers. Great job, guys. guys so no I am not yelling at them as you can see uh, the employee was laughing having a good time I was sharing my uh, adventure that we took not too long ago for the different stores and I was sharing the fact that what I was holding and what I gave her was the Lego passport and it was given to us at the very last store that we uh, we visited she had asked me to go ahead and take a survey right on hand. By doing so, I got a nice little uh, keychain with a red Lego brick, well, which I will showcase in my video haul. But this survey was really cool. It asked me a lot of questions, pretty generalized as far as what I like to buy, what I'm into, uh, what pieces or parts I'm interested in, who I shop for, and all that kind of fun stuff. It took me a few minutes, uh, not too long though, uh, and it was all in good fun. So, if you guys get a chance, please fill out those surveys. Also, fill out the surveys that the, the citizens like to share. That way they get feedback as to what you like and don't like in the store.
Alright guys, so here we are back on the road again. Again, this was a day trip, so we just headed up in the morning, came back at night, and had a lot of fun. Although we gambled a little bit, the slot machines were just not that friendly to us. So, instead of heading out about 5 o'clock, we ended up heading out about 3.30. All in all, great Lego trip. Not so good gambling, but it is what it is. As they say, only way to win in a casino is to own it. We are cruising back home, home sweet home, with a large amount of stash of Legos, and we had a blast. Good times. She's I. <laughs> So as we ride off into the sunset, we just had to stop, enjoy the view, and my mom loves snacks, so we decided to stop along the way home at this amazing place called Eddie's World, supposedly the largest gas station in California, it has a ton of snacks. It's a great little stop. It has ice cream. It has a deli or, or food place. Uh, but just an amazing place. It, it's just incredible the large variety and selection of stuff they have. Alright guys, so as you can see, they have every single candy you could imagine. They have gummies, they have taffy, they have different sorts of gummies as far as, you know, O-rings and uh, different flavors. They have some pretty cool exotic flavors too, like pineapple candy and mango candy and all that kind of fun stuff. This is just an amazing place to get your sweet tooth on. I tried to capture everything. They have chocolates, uh, they have stuffed animals, uh, all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, they also have a beef jerky stand in there, an ice cream stand. They obviously sell sodas, gas, all that kind of cool stuff. I tried to capture all of it just because it's an amazing place to visit. Uh, and again, get your uh, if you're not into candy, they also have an amazing selection of beef jerky. Um, they have an amazing selection of dried fruits, which you will be seeing here shortly. But we had to stop here. Me and my mom love this kind of stuff, so we, we had to check it out. I've been here once before. My mom, this was my fir or her first time being here. But again, an amazing location, super big, super exciting just to see all of the amazing candies that they have. And even if you go there once and you visit and look at everything, you're probably still going to find stuff. So, lots and lots of fun.
All right, guys, so this rounds out the end of our trip. We got some amazing Lego. We had a lot of fun, had great conversations. Hope you like this kind of video. Um, please comment below as to what you like, maybe dislike. That way I get some feedback. I'm always trying to improve. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. And we will see you next time on 36 Brings. Hey everybody, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and thank you to all my Patreon supporters. It means a lot that you've taken the time uh, to support what I do and appreciate all the effort that I put into both the videos and the streams. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. For those of you that are not members, please check out patreon.com backslash 36 bricks. That's patreon.com backslash 36 B-R-I-X, and check out the packages that you could take advantage of to get more content. Have a great day. Ooh, this one's cool. Check this one out. I agree, that one's cool. This one's awesome. Ooh, I like this one. I just can't stop watching. Well, I like them all, and I'm going to subscribe. Can you do the same? Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on 36 Bricks.